First, this morning I am presenting the natural gas industry in the Philippines, its policies and challenges for the development of the said industry. First, I want you to, to walk through on the overview of the downstream natural gas industry in the country. The downstream natural gas is a new sector in the energy sector of the country, which is young, emerging, and developing. The Malampaya gas field in Northern Palawan is the sole producer of natural gas which supplies a five existing 3,400 megawatts by a 504 kilometer subsea gas export pipeline. These are the 1,200 Vivian power plant, 1,000 megawatts Santa Rita, 560 San Lorenzo power plant, 414 San Gabriel, and 917 Avian power plants. These are located in the province of Batangas, the landfall of natural gas from the Malampaya gas field. 98% of the total Malampaya production is providing the power requirements, while the remaining 2% is utilized by shale refinery. The combined capacity of Ilihan, Santa Rita, and San Lorenzo power plants produce total of 2,700 megawatts of space load for the Luzon grid, while San Gabriel power plant serves as the mid merit and Avion power plant is for peaking demand. The oil refinery in Batanga City is currently the only user of natural gas as fuel for its gas turbine generators and to argue and to augment its low pressure fuel gas system since 2005 of October. Malampaya gas field is not the first gas discovery in the country. In fact, the San Antonio onshore gas field in Barangay San Antonio, Ichaque, Isabela, <coughs> operated by PNOC or Exploration Corporation in 1994, was the first discovery of natural gas in the country. The gas field was providing the power requirement of 3 megawatts on site plan until it ceased operation in 2009 due to major technical problems. After the Malampaya discovery, the Libertad gas field of Forum Exploration Corporation, located in Bobo, Cebu, started commercial operation in 2009, fueling an on site 1 megawatt power plant operated by Desco. The former Copil Exploration Corporation is now the operator of Petroleum Service Contract Number 40 of the Liberated Gas Field. As Forum Exploration Corporation, the gas field has minimum estimated recoverable reserves of 0.6, uh, 0 .6 billion cubic feet and scheduled to produce 88.47 million standard cubic foot per year. In 2017, Considering that the major user of natural gas in the country is the power generation sector, natural gas shared comprise about 7% in the country total installed capacity of power plants and 22% in the generation mix. With the termination of the San Antonio and Libertad gas uh, fields operation, the Alampaya gas field remains the only source of natural gas in the Philippines. Currently, Malampaya has six gas sales and purchase agreement to fuel the combined 3,400 more or less gas-fired power plants, including the 17 megawatts own use power plant of Shell Refinery. However, these gas sales and purchase agreements are about to expire in 2022 uh, to 2024. Ilihan Power Plants, the GSPA, will be the first to be terminated in 2022 and the rest of the GSPA will end on 2024. This will coincide with the scheduled expiration, expiration of Malampaya concession in 2024, where rapid supply is expected to start in 2022. In simulation, then, with the Malampaya's average production of 450 million standard cubic feet per day, gas production can go as far as 2017 but no sufficient gas for further expansion to provide future natural gas requirements for industrial, commercial, residential, and transport sectors. With the above scenario, there is a necessity for LNG importation due to potential supply glut from Alampaya and or from any potential development to justify new infrastructure development. With impending insufficient supply from Alampaya or from any other potential developments. 
The Philippines has potential natural gas of 25 trillion cubic feet. New gas might come from domestic resources, but the volumes cannot be established, and timing are unpredictable. The only logical source of new gas would be from imported liquefied natural gas to ensure adequate supply, security, and sustainability of natural gas in the Philippines. There is an adequate natural gas in global market to cover the zone's potential initial requirement of 5, 000, uh, 5 million metric tons per annum of LNG to fuel, to fuel the existing 3,400 megawatt gas fired power plants and potential expanded uh, market in the industrial conversion of off grid power plants and transport sector. LNG is less expensive compared to oil, <coughs> competitive with coal in the mid cycle and upon installation of import facilities other potential users from the industrial, commercial, transport and residential users can likewise gain access to natural gas. In 2017, natural gas contributes in power generation mix of 22% and in primary energy mix of 6%. Importation of LNG will provide additional source of natural gas to sustain the operations of the existing power plants. Lastly, the 2017 energy balance shows that local natural gas production is more or less limited to the demands of the existing natural gas power plants and there will be no residual volume to meet any further expansion. And in order to make LNG and other natural gas projects commercially viable, an anchor, an anchor market is crucial. The following are the potential demand for LNG or natural gas. Natural gas requirements of existing more or less 3,400 megawatts fired plants when Malapaya runs dry. The Philippines will need a total of 43,765 megawatts by 2040 with 14,500 megawatts for the mid merit and 4,000 megawatts for peaking in pursuit of the 70-20-10 technology neutral approach. Renewable energy capacity expected to grow from its 2010 level of 5,000 megawatts to 15,000 megawatts by 2030. The challenge of uh, renewable energies in terms of nature, natural gas part, uh, power plants can complement these plants will complement this plan. Other potential demand for LNG will come from the off-grid of missionary islands by replacing the existing diesel fired power plants with natural gas. And other than the existing requirements for natural gas in the power sector, LNG will soon cover non-power applications such as in the industrial processes, transportation, commercial, and residential sectors. As to the policy trust and direction, the plans and programs for the downstream natural gas industry are anchored on energy sector strategic directions from 2017 to 22, 2022 and beyond. This is envisioned to present an overall energy agenda of the government to achieve energy security, sustainable development, and improve access to clean energy, which are aligned with the administration's vision of inclusive growth, high trust society, and competitive knowledge economy. To ensure continuity of power plant from natural gas fired power plants in, in anticipation of the eventual depletion of Malapaya gas field by 2024, an integrated LNG receiving terminal will be constructed. The Philippines is strategically located and envisioned to be an LNG market trading and transshipment hub in the Asia Pacific region. In the absence of an enabling policy of the, for the downstream natural gas industry in the country, a Department Circular 2017-11-0012 entitled Rules and Regulations Governing the Philippine Natural Gas Industry was issued in November 27, 2017. The Circular provides a regulatory framework for the downstream natural gas industry specific to industry compliance on policies, rules, standards, and best practices. This covers siting, design, construction, expansion, modification, operation and maintenance of any gas-related projects, as well as the industry compliance on importation of LNG and supply and transport of natural gas. Moreover, the Department's circular also provides transparent guidelines for the investors to create a liberalized market and provide an entry for investment through third-party access. 
the Department of Circular is intended to usher in the development of natural gas industry and create more industry players towards developing the country as LNG trading and transshipment hub for the Asia-Pacific region. The Philippine Downstream Natural Gas Regulation is expected uh, to provide a conducive environment to promote the development of Philippine Downstream Natural Gas Industry value chain. This likewise ensures safe, transparent, competitive, and environmentally friendly operation. It is also expected to attain supply, security of natural gas for continuous operation of the existing combined 3,400 megawatts natural gas fired power, power plants if and when Malampaya reserves with it. Another development in the Philippine downstream natural gas industry in terms of taxes, we have already established a zero LNG import duty and natural gas is, expected, is exempted from excise tax. But of course, the government could no longer remove the 12% value-added tax, which is uh, applicable to all consumer products and services. The Department Circular also covers the supply of natural gas. As part of the non-pricing regulatory function of the, of the Department of, Earth, of Energy, importers and suppliers of natural gas is required to be accredited prior to importers and suppliers of natural gas to secure an acknowledgement to import and acknowledgement to supply, respectively, prior to every import and supply activity. Imported LNG shall comply with the Philippine National Standard of Natural Gas Quality, a circular for its implementation is for, the is for the Secretary's approval, following the public consultation that was held last November 20 of this year. Moreover, an importer shall submit to the Department of Energy a post-importation notice not later than 20 working days after unloading of every importation, while the accredited supplier shall submit monitoring reports not later than 15 days of the succeeding month for the DOE's monitoring activities. Developing an industry naturally exper uh, experiences great pains and challenges. At the current stage, the main challenge is to put up the identified critical and strategic infrastructure. <coughs> Natural gas infrastructure projects require large capex. The Philippines cannot access the LNG market as there is no L import LNG facility operating in the country that will receive, store, and regasify the LNG before the transport and distribution of natural gas to potential consumers. Another challenge is the development of the natural gas local markets on a commercial basis. At the initial stage, there are limited markets for natural gas an LNG that can justify the investment in the natural gas infrastructure projects such as LNG import facilities. Power generation sector remains to be the main driver to natural gas industry. To support investment and market development enables us such complementary transmission and distribution projects and sustainable supply of natural gas are needed. <laughs> we are also faced on the issue of price competitiveness of natural gas as I have mentioned earlier, the power sector remains to be the main driver of natural gas and serve as the anchor market to justify investment of gas infrastructure, infrastructure project development. If LNG natural gas is used in least cost role to meet the demand in mid merit and peak, peak load, it can, compete well with, it can compete well with diesel and renewables. Thus, LNG natural gas price and generation costs per kilowatt hour is competitive. Base load LNG natural gas plants will not be least cost and will be far too risky to develop as merchant basis. Recognizing the importance of the development of downstream natural gas projects, it will be equally important that the de Department of Energy develops the necessary expertise and administrative procedures to effectively monitor the continued development of downstream natural gas sector. In synergy, there continues to be challenge for the government to capitalize on the emerging downstream uh, opportunities. To be able to address the requirement of the industry, there is a need to strengthen institutional capacity to implement the regulatory functions of the Department of Energy through sound public-private partnership for the development of emerging natural gas industry. This particularly covers the implementation on the development of downstream gas infrastructure in the Philippines. 
that is uh, in order to attain harmony in development of the country's natural gas industry, capacity build-up for the industry as well, to forward the development of industry is an essential requirement. Being in the very early stage of this development, its development, the downstream natural gas industry is in need of integrated set of laws and issuances. The natural gas law would lead to the attainment of government's immediate policy objectives of encouraging investments in the initial infrastructure requirements for the industry and in expanding the country's natural gas supply base. As to the legal system, there is shortcomings of, of current regulatory and legislative framework and lack of gas-related law and policy. The natural gas law will provide enough flexibility to shift the focus of the regulatory regime as the market develops to enable the entry of new players and promote operational efficiency. It is worth noting that the natural gas bill is sensitive to the institutional circumstances of the country where the achievement of multiple objectives rests upon the concerted effort of the various instrumentalities of the government. With this, thank you for your attention. My presentation, have a pleasant uh, morning and a pleasant day.